Hi, welcome back to a new episode of Lip Sync Breakdown. This is a show where I'll be breaking down every single lip sync from the newest episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 12. I'm wearing my Ari on the shirt because you know we're two natural womanas. So this week's challenge, they had to do a an improv challenge that was kind of more like a sketch comedy challenge. I didn't really think it was, it was that like improv of a challenge. Uh, it kind of seemed like it was scripted in some parts. In some parts, it seemed like it was improv. But mostly, it just seems like it like they had dialogue already written for them. And I, I know they didn't, but they probably like uh, they probably went in there with some lines already like in their head, so they can just kind of uh, bang them out when the pressure's on. But yeah, it was kind of a boring episode. It was not that great. None of them really stood out to me. And uh, the one thing that did stand out was the fact that they edited out the disqualified person that we're not gonna speak of. Yeah, they, they just completely edited out all the conventionals. So this is gonna be interesting. This season's gonna be interesting. But this episode's not interesting. It was boring. All right, let's get to it. This week, Dahlia Sin and Nikki Doll landed in the bottom two. Duh. Is that how you say friend in French too? No! But they landed in the bottom two and the lip sync song, Problem by Ariana Grande featuring Iggy Azalea. This dress, um, this dress kind of took me on a journey and that journey was really bumpy because at first I was like, I don't like it. I do not like it, but now that I look at it more and then I'm staring at it and then like I'm telling myself that it's gorgeous, I like it. It's like a deconstructed bunny, like toy bunny. I like it. It's cute. Ms. Nikki is serving Cinderella going to the designer for a fitting, except that designer is a fucking dirty rat. Ooh. Ew. These girls, they are both so iconic. They're so iconic. Look at their moves. Look at the way they're moving. Oh my gosh. They're so iconic. Dua Lipa is, her career is canceled. Did you see the way that she just shrugged her shoulder? Like, what a fucking French fucking legend. Like, really. She's the real French vanilla fantasy. Oh, ho, ho. You want a French vanilla? French vanilla? Oh, ho, ho. Is that French? No one <laughs> in France say, huh? Oh she is looking straight into that camera so that we all know that she doesn't know the words. Ugh, what an icon. Both of them took their headpieces off at, like, almost at the same time. Like, Sasha Velour's reveal is fucking shook, scalped, and their flower petals are dried out somewhere. It's almost kind of like your vagina. Yes, stand up, ugh, yes. Did you guys see the way that she just stood up? Woo. My mom's arthritis is healed after watching that. Um, these are two lip sync assassins. Assassins. I don't know how Rue is gonna pick a winner. I honestly don't. She's probably just gonna go with the one whose name she remembers. Actually, that... <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her. <laughs> nobody, nobody can walk like these girls. The way that they walk from one side and then they made it to the other side Girl, that's talent. That's talent. It's way more talent than I have. So that is actually pretty impressive to walk from one side to the other. Kimchi can't even do that without falling. So impressive. Okay, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real. We got 99 problems and the lip sync is all 99 of them because what the fuck was that? They were the worst. What was that lip sync? This song was such a good lip sync song and it deserves so much better and it was so disappointing. I am so disappointed with watching that. I don't know how you guys feel. Hopefully you agree with me because if you were actually excited watching that, I don't know what to tell you about your taste, but it's shit because that was not good. It was not good. No, I don't like it. Hopefully next week they do better. This has been two weeks in a row where they're just kind of been meh. And this one has been the worst so far, so we'll see. In the end, 
Nikki Doll is declared the winner of this week's lip sync. If you can call it a lip sync, I just say they were just walking and moving their mouth. Dahlia Sin is the first queen of season 12 to sashay away and not give anybody any attention when she's leaving because she's fucking pissed and she's a little bitter. So you know what? Let her be in her feelings. She has every single right. So whatever. Thank you guys for joining me for another lip sync break down. Break down. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. I don't know if I enjoyed it, but here I am. <laughs> and um, follow me on Instagram, on uh, all my social medias. I think I only have an Instagram. So just follow me there. And you can also check out my new podcast where I review La Mastraga and RuPaul's Drag Race in Spanish. Because yes, girl, she speaks two languages. She speaks two languages. So there you go. You can find all that stuff in the description box. And um, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next week for RuPaul's Drag Race Season 12, Episode 4, Lip Sync Breakdown. Bye.